they reward him on this next play. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Robinson is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. A loss of two there, second down. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football. As they come up now, second and goal. Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Willis on third and goal. Toward the pylon, caught. Touchdown. Foster Moreau, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bengals have taken the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. And he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Willis now off play action. And his throw is going to be incomplete. These offensive starters still out there in the second quarter. You would think the plan's for them to at least play into the third quarter, if not all the way through it. Yeah, it might go by feel. If they have a really good first drive to start the third quarter, they might pull them after that. If not, might leave them out there a little bit longer, but I'll guarantee this, they'll be gone by the start of the fourth quarter. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The Bengals bring out their punter now as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And he'll take it on this side of midfield. drive about to get going there was still more than a minute to go in half time to try to mount a drive and I would think that they would have to this is today's NFL you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity you can never have enough points with the high power offenses that you face and analytics will tell you try and score when given the opportunity that play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down Now Willis. He'll go right back to St. Brown. Oh, good move. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Nine yards, the distance covered on the catch and run. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. It's complete to Robinson. And he will be brought down. Yard line. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Right back to the air again with Willis. This one hauled in, and again it's Robinson. Touchdown, Bengals! B. John Robinson 
as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Well, CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just all, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. On first down, Willis. That's complete to Moreau, the tight end. Cincinnati score. Foster Moreau, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bengals have taken the lead here this third quarter. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown. To The Bengals drive about to get going. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to keep the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way, but you're not counting on it. Exactly what you said. You can't miss your turn. You can't miss your opportunity. Yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Ready. Let's go. On the counter, this is Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. That's out wide here for Robinson. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. The one. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. 
on first down. They'll start out with Hubbard. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That good for 22 and a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Last play, they went over 20 yards. This time, they topped 30. Zappi looking to throw it on first down. Looking for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the Brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Here's Zappi, another shot on second down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run here with Hubbard. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Chuba Hubbard, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. And remember, no overtime here in preseason. This offense hoping that's a moot issue as they try to finish this one off. That is brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it, especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Fourth down. Here's Zappi. A desperation heave for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, or both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we sign off from Landover.